All right, we're on to example three where we're calculating the median, the median being the middle number, okay? And we're going to do it for the following set of data. Now, this is quite a basic question, but we're going to talk about some really important concepts as we go through this. First of all, we, we know we put this in order, so 2, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And a lot of people just look at it and they're like, okay, this is really simple. The middle number is between the 6 and the 8 because there's 3 on each side. Now, you don't always get simple questions where the middle is really obvious. And when this happens, there's another technique you can use. And I'll, I'll do that over here. So 2, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And the method involves counting the total number of scores. So we have 6 scores here adding 1 to your count, so 6 plus 1, which is 7, and dividing this result by 2. 7 divided 2 is 3.5. And when you do this, the 3.5 tells you where the middle is. And you do it by counting 3.5 from the left. So 1, 2, 3, so the 6 is the third number, and 3.5 means it's the number 0.5 after the 6 or halfway past the 6. So it's between the 6 and the 8. And what you notice by using this counting method, we ended up at halfway just like we did over here. Now, uh, most people will look at this and go, all right, what's halfway between 6 and 8? The median is 7 because 7 is the number between 6 and 8. Now, they're not always obvious like this. You're not going to get numbers where it's obvious where the middle goes. And if you ever get confused or, or aren't sure what it is, just add them up, put it in brackets, and divide by 2, and that will give you the number 7. 